All right, so I'm sure a lot of you have been hearing more and more super trap beats recently, and I've never actually made one, but I've been challenging myself to get out of my comfort zone recently and bring different genres to the channel. If you haven't heard of super trap, it's pretty much dark, hard trap beats with crazy hi hat patterns, distorted 808s, and just some sort of out of this world alien vibe. More and more producers like Ghosty are making them, and they sound sick, so I want to show you how to make them too. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so like I said, I've never made a super trap beat before. I've made something similar, but whenever I don't really know a genre, I just watch tutorials. I'll pick parts from other producers and then add my own twist, which is pretty much what every producer does. So you could watch channels like PXS Global, Slippery Haze, Trifreeze, all really good producers with good tutorials. But yeah, I'm going to see what I can make. I always start by setting the BPM and the most common one I see is 150 and then for the melody most of the time it's dark synth style sounds so think about things like Expand 2, Electra X, some contact banks, Analog Lab would have some good ones but I'm going to start with Electra X. This bell sounds kind of sick. I'm just going to think of a repetitive melody. It's a bit too distorted. Even just repeating that to start with. A little change. Halftime just always sounds sick on beats like this. Let's grab a pad as well. Something like this. Nah, it changes a bit too much. This one sounds better. Kind of like drill chords. Actually changing that first bell as well. I was getting a bit sick of it already. Then I want more atmosphere, so I'm going to pull up contact and then just get some kind of texture or pad bank. This is a good one for pads and textures. So yeah, just this for one layer. And I want to do something with those first bells, so I'm thinking maybe some portal. Ooh, this one. This one sounds sick. All right, let's clone that contact. We'll just get the same note in and we'll just find something else that works with it. This one could work as well. Just make a couple changes to the pad. Okay, I'm thinking I want to go back to Electra X and get some kind of sim for another pluck sound. Actually, maybe that. Okay, let's take that second sound. Let's cut the lows out of this one. Alright, this sounds kind of annoying me now. But maybe I could just turn it right down. Just feel a bit more. Let's have it more as a background texture. I just want to see what this sounds like if I render it and then try and flip it. Let's just pitch it up a bit. Oh, have time actually. And just this part. That sounds kind of sick, but it needs more stuff. Alright, next I'm going to go to my Salvus One Shot Kit. Grab one of these plucks. Whenever I'm using one shot, so I just turn everything down. Except for the hold. And then sometimes just bring the attack up a bit. Maybe we could get a triplet melody going. So we'll set it to third. I'm going to use the bakery shot. Let's get some reverb on that. And then just copy that out. And then I've just got the reverse echoes preset on. This is an effect track. Okay, I think it just needs a couple more layers. So I found this preset in modular icons, and I'm just pressing the root note twice or in two octaves. Okay, this sound has to go in there. Yeah, I think half time on that pluck sounds better. You know what? I'm kind of liking the way this sounds without the first melody. I think I prefer it without it. 
But maybe I could take some stuff from the first pattern. Oh, even that sounds sick. I'm gonna leave the melody like that for now. I might come back to it, but I just wanna get the drums in. For these hard track beats, I always use the B snare. always hits hard so for the hats I'm gonna start with each two step I'm gonna take that pluck melody off triplets just cuz I prefer the two-step bounce all right and for the rolls I'm just kind of listening in my head and then seeing where I think they'd fit so I'm hearing one here I'm gonna set it to six step And then on the scenario, I'm hearing another one and then a rise up. Maybe a high one here though. And then a triplet coming back up. Let's try some going the opposite way. Alright, so I've got that first pattern down. I'm gonna copy this and then just change a few things. Yeah, it sounded crazy. Okay, let's grab a second snare in. I'm thinking this one. Then we'll grab a third one. I'm just adding more triplets at the end to match the hats. Snare all sounding mad. Let's grab my ninja open hat. So with the open hat, I'm actually controlling the envelope because with the lower ones, I don't want them to drag on too long. Let's grab some at the beginning. Turn these ones down. And then just copy that over. So there we go. And then I even see people adding slide notes on the open hats like this. Alright, next I'm just going to take a Zay. I'm going to go to pre compute effects. Bring up the ring modulation mix. Turn the frequency all the way up. And then just boost it. I think I want two different 808s. So the other one I'm gonna take is this Goliath one. And then if you go to the wrench tool, click cut by. And as long as you've got both sounds on the same number. So for example, I can bring this to 10 as well. They're never gonna overlap. It sounded crazy so far and I know I'm gonna want a second eight weight pattern maybe without the Zay and just a longer one but I'm gonna do that when I start arranging it so for now I just want to add a couple perks and I think that might be enough for the drums and I know this one sounded crazy it's not really a placement type of beat but I wasn't really thinking about getting an artist on this one it was more just to have fun with but yeah I did want to add that second eight weight pattern so I'm going to split this pattern I'm just going to copy it and then in this one I'm just going to use the longer bass So that bit sounding hard. Crazy. All right, 
right, so I've got the two main patterns. I'm just going to copy that again. Let's just do a quick structure. All right, so yeah, just a simple structure. I'll bring in the open hat here. And then I want the first 808 to come in. Might save the kick though. Let's make a couple cuts. I'll take a riser from my splice kit. So yeah, I've just taken out a couple of texture layers in this section. Mostly the high end stuff. Alright, maybe I'll add something different in this section. Kind of want to add a synth bass or a grind bass. I think that one. Just thinking that one hit. And then maybe a sub in between them. We'll just go to my gritty sub bass in my Aurora analog lab bank. Yeah, that sounds kind of sick. Let's just copy that over. All right, let's have a listen from the beginning. So yeah, just started off with the melody without some of the high-end textures. Bring in the open hats. Just save the kick for here. A simple pattern though. So yeah, I feel like the hats just really make a super trap beat. The pattern looks insane. Just need to bring that grind bass down a bit. But yeah, if you're feeling this one and you want to see more dark trap tutorials, click up here. All for dark drill, click up here. 